Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Medium Core. Yeah, I need to entirely rebuild this. Probably build a completely different one actually. So yeah, this gunpowder farm that I made in the last episode turned out to be a colossal failure. Uh, it worked in my testing world. Uh, but it just does not work here. I checked it out in spec in with my spectator account. It is literally spawning no creepers. It is spawning only spiders, which are then getting blocked up because they're so big, which is not something that happened in my testing world, unfortunately. So I, I was not prepared for this, and it's basically going to be... Because this just doesn't work at all, I'm just going to have to completely build a new farm. I'm going to rip this entire thing out, and build something else. I'll probably build the more traditional gunpowder farm, which I didn't want to do because it's something that I can't expand on the rates, but I'll I'll have to. So, with that in mind, this is going to have to get torn down, and then I can make a different farm, which hopefully will actually work. Because this one doesn't. The only benefit of standing it there, up there for an hour, was it loaded my iron farm too. So I've got many, many stacks of iron, which is nice. At least that farm works. This this farm was a colossal disappointment, and I'm just I'm not gonna bother expanding it. It's not spawning any creepers at all, so I'm not gonna bother trying to make it bigger. I'm just gonna I'm gonna forego the spider farm part and just build a traditional creeper farm. I'm going to have to. So yeah, that's fun. The entire thing is dismantled. It's all gone. I just quickly tore it down and the new farm I'm not going to build here because I just feel like this spot is cursed now. So I'm probably going to build it elsewhere. Maybe somewhere far away and build another portal. Maybe somewhere close by. I don't know. But I'm, next time I'm building a lot higher in the sky too. So I don't get any cave interference. But it's gone. It's gone. This is everything that that it was made up of. These are all the materials that I used to make it. This is from the... Uh, the charcoal is from the uh, campfires though. Because I don't have silk touch. Uh... Interesting thing I noticed while taking it down, I had to dismantle my villager breeder because there's so many villagers in this that I just haven't done anything with yet that their entity collisions are A, causing massive lag, and B, they were exploding villagers out, and I had to kill like 10 villagers because they'd escaped. So I had to take all the carrots out of the farm so they can't make any more villagers because there's so many in here. That is just ridiculous. So yeah, that's that's. It was kind of funny to watch them fling the villagers everywhere, but I don't like having to kill the villagers because it's a waste of something that could be quite valuable. But it is what it is. It's it's over and done with. So this is all probably just going to go back home because I'm not going to be making this farm design. I'm going to be doing a completely different one. So I'll be using a lot different of materials. Well, the trapdoors will be the same. I'll probably need more water, actually. But either way, I'll have to completely start fresh, unfortunately. So yeah, that's... I guess I better get started. Set up here, uh, in a plains biome, kinda far from my house, but not too far. Uh, I've just got a little spot set up here, and I'm gonna build it around a uh, hundred blocks in the sky. Got some nether connections, bed to sleep in, gathered some materials. I finally made a shulker box, because I didn't want to be hauling a ton of crap around in my inventory. You'll see I used my only stack of gunpowder to make some rockets, so that I don't have to rely on scaffolding the entire time because I just don't have enough scaffolding, so I'll probably be wearing my elytra while building this. 
also because I might fall. And other than that, I've got a bunch of materials ready to go. should probably plop down the crafting table. And then over here, you'll notice there was a distinct lack of wood in that chest. Over here, I think I went the wrong way again. Yeah. Shoot. Over here, I planted some spruce saplings so I can just have a permanently growing spruce trees so I can get a ton of spruce wood because I'm going to be making it out of spruce because honestly, it's easy, a lot easier to get large quantities of than any other block because you can speak of the devil. That's a lot of podzel though. But yeah, I'm just going to I'm gonna build it a bunch of blocks in the air. I tested it in a creative world uh, and I got really good rates so I hopefully don't have to worry about it flopping this time I got much better rates than the uh, first one and just hopefully it works if it doesn't work then I'm gonna be really sad and I won't know what to do I'll oh geez I don't even know what I'd do well hopefully that doesn't happen but I guess Time to find out. I know I said I'd just be building a creeper farm, but I decided I'm just going to build a regular old mob farm. So that's what I did. Just a regular mob farm. Uh, it's it's actually not too bad, but it is. the point is it is done. You'll notice on the right hand side, I did unfortunately die in the making of it. I did not light it up as well as I thought, so when I was doing some finishing touches, I just got kind of just clustered by a lot of things. I actually had to rebuild a part of it because a creeper was involved. It was rather unfortunate, and I did lose a life. I'm now on three lives, but I didn't lose any items, which is good. Uh, but it is working, and it, it does work quite well. Uh, I'm not, for time constraints, I'm not going to AFK at it at all today, but it has been kicking out stuff. I've collectively, since from as long as it's been built, it's been for about been built and running for about ten minutes. Uh, so I do want to just see how much. Actually, I don't even think it's ten minutes. I think it's like f closer to five minutes. Yeah, for five minutes, this isn't bad. It's actually kicking stuff out at a pretty good rate. And you can hear that there is a ton of stuff dying in it. It is working. It is working well. Um, I used a lot of wood. And I just want to see how how's it doing from afar. I wish I had potions of slow falling. But yeah, it's doing pretty good. You can see a bunch of things dying. I built an AFK platform up at the very top for AFKing at a later date. And I know this is definitely going to be a lot more successful than the mob far than the creeper farm I attempted to build in the last episode, because this is actually working, and quite well too. So that's pretty good. If I do AFK, I'll probably have to expand the storage system because it's already got quite a bit of stuff in it, and I've not been AFK at it at all. But it's a good source of gunpowder. And it's good source of string and bones. Rotten flesh isn't useless anymore, so I guess that's good, because I can trade that for emeralds. So ultimately, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm actually really proud of it. It did quite well. This is my podzel patch that I used to make it. it. Took a lot of wood, though. I had to repair my elytra and my axe several times just by slaughtering sheep. I also ran out of potatoes. Which doesn't surprise me because I didn't have many to begin with. But it is it is done. So I guess with that I can just kind of pack up and go home. I'm really glad I brought the... um really glad I brought the shulker box with me because I would have not had a good time trying to transport everything by hand. That would have really sucked. But now, I've only got three inventory slots taken up, so that's handy. So I guess I'll take this all back home. 
and then just have this going for whenever I need it. And I'm gonna leave the tree there just because I can. But yeah, so that's that's this mob farm. It's creeper farm. I don't need a creeper farm anymore. I've got a mob farm now. A good mob farm. It's working. It's a bit spastic at times because I'm using observers for the water bucket dispensing. But it's still functional. And it's all that matters. And it's... The AFK platform is high enough to where nothing should be spawning on or underneath the ground. So I shouldn't have any interference with spawn rates. Which is always good. And then... It's far away from home, so it's not constantly loaded, so it's not lagging me all the heck. And hopefully it doesn't break if I unload the chunks. But I suppose that's a risk I'll have to take. But it is it is done. It's just your typical flushing system mob farm. And it's that's it. It's done. And it's producing gunpowder just like I wanted so I can get rockets now just like I needed so with that rather success of a mob farm that's all I'm going to do for today's episode of Minecraft Medium Core I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one a goodbye